Yo guys, what's up? It's Steve out here today. The first sneak peek in Clash of Clans next update came out, and there's actually going to be a level 9 mortar and a level 4 inferno tower coming out in the next update. So this is actually information that I leaked a few videos ago, and it was 100% accurate. They were the exact same pictures. I even leaked the pictures to you guys, so you can now tell that the leaks from now on that I provide to you guys are probably going to be true. Um, so you can see the inferno tower on the right side actually looks really, really sick, and I also like the level 9 mortar. Um, I think they all look really sick I don't know how they're gonna work out in terms of actually um, on the defensive scale of things and they're probably gonna have to add in some more troops to the game um, but you can see the inferno towers in action we have a little bit of a mock attack you can see the Giants are attacking the inferno towers at the exact same time and you can obviously see that the level 4 inferno tower takes it out a little bit faster um, than the one on the right side so it just does a little bit more damage and then it switches to the next target immediately so that's actually really really cool so there's actually a few more things that they actually announced today, but first we're going to actually see a real attack on a Town Hall 11 base uh, using some of the Inferno Towers and also the Mortars. So we're going to go ahead and see how they actually work out in the actual attack. So you can see the Mortars are in the center of the base. There are also some Inferno Towers in there as well. They are maxed out and you can see the attackers using some Earthquake spells at first. He's going to drop in some Golems on the left and right side. So this gameplay is going to show you the mortar in action and keep an eye on the mortar at the top of the screen in the center of the base and you can see that it just fires a fireball towards the giants which is pretty much the same thing as the level 8 mortar. I can't really tell a difference but it definitely looks different. It's like silver and gray and it has a little bit of a different look to it. Um, also you're going to see the inferno towers in action a few seconds here after the heroes um, make it towards the middle of the base. So you can see they're heading towards the center compartment. There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, there's also an air defense that you can see on the bottom right side that looks a little bit different. It looks like they actually changed those up and you can see these multi-target Inferno Towers in action and they target and they acquire targets a lot faster now. So that's a new thing that they actually added in for this new update. So I do believe that they changed some stuff with the Archer Queen AI and Hero AI um, and the Grand Warden. So you can probably tell that the Grand Warden's little sphere thing is a lot smaller uh, than it was. And it looks a little bit smaller. So that's a new thing that they added in um, for this new update. And of course the update is not out yet. This is just the first sneak peek. So there are probably going to be like four more sneak peeks. And we have a really, really good idea of what they're going to be. Because of course I leaked them earlier. And somebody else leaked them actually. But I was the one who brought it to you guys. Um, I was one of the first ones. So you can see right here, Barbarian King is going to go down. He got the 50% two-star. That pretty much is going to wrap up the raid here. Um, but now let's go ahead and move on to the Grand Warren Pedestal, the Arch Queen Pedestal, and the Barbarian King Pedestal. Of course, they are a little bit different uh, for this new update. We'll have a zoom in on every single one of them. The Arch Queen is a little different and the Barbarian King is a little different. We're also going to go over the new air defenses. They look a little bit different starting from level 2. And the level 1 is like identical. There's also level 5, level 6 level 7 and level 8 which look different um, so these are pretty interesting um, I don't know exactly why they changed the look of them but it still looks pretty epic so now I'm gonna show you another feature that they're adding in you can see at the top of the screen you can actually click that info button and you can look at everything that is building and this is actually something that somebody recommended on Facebook and on Twitter they had a little concept of that and that's actually really interesting that Supercell actually added that in so that pretty much wraps up the video. If you guys want free gems, click the first link down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.